guys, it's Saturday and just got back from my friend's barbecue, so now I'm gonna get some coffee and um, head home. like that. <laughs> you lazy cat. You lazy cat. <laughs> hey guys, so it is the absolute last Saturday before my dedicated step time. So it's different for every school, but my school gives all the students about six weeks of dedicated step time, meaning we don't have any classes, we don't have any mandatory things, we just have, um, just we just sit home or school or whatever and we just study for a step but today I'm taking the entire day off like I mentioned before I went to my friends for a barbecue in the morning and now I'm back and we're actually getting ready to do this fun thing thanks to this guy who brought it over today so we're gonna try out blue apron for the first time so we have some information about wine information about the farm and the scallion that they sent us the menu that we got. So we got the soy glazed chicken and the spiced salmon po' boy sandwiches. I think we're going to make this one for today. And it comes in this nice little insulated bag. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. done so um, the whole the whole recipe makes four servings but we just made two so um, this is the salmon po' boy sandwiches and this is the romaine snow pea salad okay so we're gonna watch a movie um, we we're hoping to watch the movie high rise which isn't out in the theaters yet but they released it on Amazon Prime Amazon or Google one of the other yeah so we'll find it okay <laughs> Okay, so we just finished the meal. Um, I thought it was pretty good uh, flavor-wise. I don't usually like cooked salmon. I prefer sashimi or sushi salmon, but this was actually really good. And the mm -hmm. salad was good too. Do you think the food was worth it? Um, so I guess from our calculation before it comes out to about seven fifty per meal. And I think that's not bad if you're, I guess it's not bad compared to going out to eat, let's say. Um, yeah, but if you compare it to like if you're actually cooking, like if you're actually like making food by yourself, like for the most part, meals come down to like maybe like less than three dollars a meal, right? Or like two dollars a meal. Yeah. So at seven fifty per meal, it's not worth it if you know how to cook. But I think if you're just beginning to cook, or like you want to learn how to cook, you want to get like a a brief idea of like how to cook I think um, I think it's worth it then yeah it's uh, it's convenient because all the ingredients come measured so um, you don't have to measure anything all the instructions are very clear it comes with pictures so um, if you're learning how to cook um, it might be a worthy investment mm -hmm. um, for I but I think um, in terms of you as a medical student um, because this thing comes weekly and it's um, it comes with like perishable food, so when it comes, you pretty much have to cook it um, within a couple of days. And if it's like your exam week or something, you might not get a chance to do that. So the timing thing might be a little tricky. So the movie was not good, so we stopped watching it. Um, but I thought I might show you guys some of the resources that I'm using for for step. So. I've shown this book before. This is a Golian Rapid Review Pathology. This is just to get an idea of all the um, pathology that's important. And I like this book because it has sort of like the quick memorization of facts on the side in blue. And it has a little more in-depth information compared to first aid. First aid is a book that every 
second year medical student is going to use probably. I split mine up into four different books because it's a pretty large book um, when it's just in one. Um, and I spiral bound it so it's easy to go, easy to flip around and write notes on the side. Um, in retrospect, I actually regret splitting in four because um, a lot of times you're going from different sections, from one section to another, so it's helpful to have everything together. Um, but I guess for the purposes of the step exam, I'm going to be doing, I set up my schedule so that I'm doing one topic at a time. So I guess from in that respect, it's this is fine. Um, and of course, um, Pathoma is a very helpful resource. This is a book, but it also comes with an uh, online website where you can watch lectures. BRS Physiology book is the one that I've been used to cover most of physiology. Um, my friend Sam actually compiled a sketchy micro book. So this is all the um, sketchy pictures um, and some of the notes that she took and some of the notes that I added in. Um, I printed it out and I got it spiral bound. So if I want to go back and review a microbe, I don't actually have to go on the website to watch a whole video, which can be as long as 20 minutes for some of them. So having this book um, to refer back to is very helpful. Okay, so this is the rough schedule that I set up um, for myself, sort of how I'm dividing up the uh, different topics. It's kind of hard to read, but um, I had my last exam on Friday. So today is Saturday and I'm going to start officially on Monday. So I'm uh, spending the first four days covering everything related to cardio, anatomy, physiology, pathophysiology, um, pharmacology, everything. And then I have um, Palm for two days. Palm is like a much shorter course, so I thought um, I could probably cover in two days. Um, on Sundays, I'm going to be taking a half day off and the other half day is going to be like a catch up. So either something that I missed during the week or um, uh, just doing more questions. I'm going to be doing a full block of questions on Sundays as well. Um, so that's going to be sort of like a catch all day. Uh, following week, I have three days of renal, three days of neuro slash psych. I'm thinking about adding another day for psych because there's a lot of drugs in psych um, psychiatry. Uh, Sunday's catch up um, and then the following week I have biochem for two days one day of micro and CBSC sort of like a practice exam that I'm going to be taking with the rest of my class at school and then I have two days immuno uh, immunology two days of hemong two days of endocrine and uh, reproductive systems two days and like another day here of GI um, and then another day of micro so that's going to be all of May. And in June, it looks like first day of June, I have another practice test. I have two days of musculoskeletal. Um, this free day actually isn't going to be free. It's going to be filled with something else. Um, and then I have one day of pathology, one day of pharmacology. And of course, I'll be doing pharmacology um, uh, when I'm doing these like system-based learning. but. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna dedicate one day fully to actually just principles of pharmacology. This day is supposed to be biochem. Actually, I'm gonna do biochem on that day because this day is Asad's birthday. So I'm gonna take this whole day off, and then I have another day of micro, and then another um, practice exam. Um, this day is gonna be um, half questions and the other half is going to be um, sort of like epidemiology and biostatistics, so learning about um, sensitivity, specific specificity, and all that. And then this whole week is the week of my actual step exam, so I'm going to be doing just lots of questions every day, three to four blocks of 40 question blocks. And Friday the 17th is my step one, and then I'll, I'll have this whole week off, and then my... Um, Third year begins on the 27th of June. So probably the scariest thing is the fact that I have to learn these very major topics in just two or three days, maybe four days at the most. Um, and that I like sounds really scary and it's really scary to me, but I know that I've done all these courses 
before I spent weeks studying it. So I'm hoping that when I review um, three to four days is just enough to just jog my memory and bring everything back. And um, hopefully I can do well on step. So that was my step schedule and some of the resources that I'm going to be using. I'm planning on doing maybe like a quick um, weekly summary video if you guys want. Because um, since uh, Sunday's my half day, I'll probably go to church and then I can do like a quick video um, about how my studying week went. Um, so I can hopefully keep you guys in the loop. And I think I'm going to end my vlog here. Uh, thank you guys for all your support. Um, comment, like, ask any questions you might have. I might not be able to get back to you until after my step. But um, still, you can feel free to ask. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Why are you getting so self-conscious, Candy? It's okay. Relax.